Uh, well, let's let's edit oh, right. the uh, function uh, right. locally. So let me get this out of the way. So I guess Oops. we actually have. Okay, cool. Yeah. So you can go to uh, the amplify folder, and um, I think it would be cool. Like, do you think it would be okay if I just pasted in some code and we walked no, through? No, that, that's absolutely cool. And you should have control. So you and I should be following you. Let me go back to live share real quick. Yeah. So as you move around the project. Uh, VS code that I'm sharing should update and follow you around. Okay, dope. That's that's perfect then. Okay, um, let me do it. Go ahead and, yeah, and try that yeah, then. Open okay. up a file and let's see what happens. Oh, well, the, so do you see the amplify folder like toggling? I, uh, yeah, it is open. Okay, so like the 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 CLI pretty much like creates this amplify folder when you initialize a project, and then when you add features, it goes into this like backend uh, folder. So right now, like we have an API, which is like an HTTP endpoint, and then we have a function, and the function that we are, we have is Yanifax. Okay. So what we want to do is kind of like edit the handler, and um, the handler is going to be like this index.js, and like by default, we're just given like this really basic hello world example, but I am going to actually copy and paste a pretty basic server okay. here. Cool. Yeah. Um, and, and we're going to walk through this real quick. So like we have Apollo server and uh, GQL, which is uh, that, that helper that kind of allows you to kind of uh, transform uh, strings into uh, AST, right? Is that, is that kind of what GQL yeah, does? It like basically, yeah, puts it through like the AST, parses it into like a, a request, right? With the proper... I think yeah, so. Set up. Um, okay, so we, we like import those two things, but like what's really interesting is like where are we getting this stuff from is uh, this this Apollo server Lambda package is actually like so damn nice. Like the first time I use it, it just worked. Like, and it has, you know, a lot of like 10,000 stars or something. And I, I was like blown away that this thing is out there and it works so yeah. well because, you know, a lot of times you try stuff and it kind of sucks, right? Like, but this thing is really like really yeah. solid. So this is like a really great package and that's kind of what we're using it kind of just allows you to kind of uh have all of your uh the things that you would expect to be in a graphql server integrated with uh api gateway and lambda automatically and uh, there's a lot of stuff that kind of goes on under the hood with these event and context objects that kind of get passed in um you know as arguments and it kind of takes those and, and, and allows you to pass those into your resolvers um when you initialize cool. the server. So we'll, we'll kind yeah, of walk yeah, through love that. It. So um, we have the schema right here where we have the type depth definition. Um, th so uh, if I'm not mistaken, this is going to be your entire GraphQL schema. Is that, is that, is that about right? Yeah, yeah. Like where you yep. would define your type depth? Yeah, and like you can build that um, more programmatically if you want. But yeah, the type depth is essentially that defines like this is... What you what you export you want to be the definition of your graph essentially. Okay, that yeah. makes sense. So uh, like r r like right now we have we're gonna have something really basic. We're just gonna have like a hello a hello world query that returns a, uh, some string, um, and then the string is gonna be something like uh, what's a what's a fact about uh, Yanni? Yanni, um, I don't know, like there's so many interesting things about him. It's kind of hard to just yeah. pick one. Yeah, Yanni, what's an interesting fact <laughs> about you? <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah. He hates Yanni facts. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Yanni hates uh, Yanni facts. Amazing. There we go. So that's the first okay. fact. Um, we want to improve this down the road, but this is a good yeah. V1. one. <laughs> So like here we're kind of uh, then defining our, our resolvers based on uh, the queries that we already have. And, and if we had mutations and, and things like that, we would also, I guess, have all of those different resolvers here. Um, we might even have, you know, well, I guess for any GraphQL operation that would kind of go here, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, mutations. And typically probably, yeah, mutations. Like you wouldn't just be returning a string, right? You probably would be uh, like making some uh, database call or calling another API or something. But for this example, this is kind of like a really great, I guess, entry point into how yep. this stuff works. So uh, we have two more parts. We have the server um, definition where we kind of pass in uh, the type definitions and the resolvers. And then we have this optional context function 
which we're not even really like using right now because we're not using any of that information in our resolvers. But if we wanted to get access to headers, uh, anything in this event or the context about the function, we would be able to get that by by setting this this uh, part here, I think, where we can actually kind of like pass that yeah. and then you would have access to that that's, information. Is yep, that about right? Exactly, that's exactly it, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, because the you know the, that's part of the the lambda setup, right? And if this was if we were looking at the that hello world example that we had previously, you would see that like the event and context are what come in with a, a lambda event. So you want to make sure you still get access to that, even if it's a GraphQL API. And and would those arguments be available here, like in the hello and in and in, in this function argument yes, here? Yeah. So for the 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 resolver context, um, it would be I want to say it's like current um, parameters that are passed in, like current being the level of the tree, the graph that you were at, parameters, and then context would be here. Um, so I don't know why Got I didn't it. write this out, but this would be like the type or the object that you're on. Uh, and then this, I don't know, type might be like a, a private word type. And then this would be parameters. And so like, that's like, if you have a query and you pass parameters with it. Um, so like if we updated hello to take, uh, a name that was a string and required like that, that, that name would be parameters. Okay. So that would be the params. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Let me back all that up. Boop, ba doop, ba doop, ba doop, boop, boo. There we go. Yeah. And then I guess the last thing is kind of where we just call server.createHandler. And if you weren't using, um, if we weren't calling this from a, a front end app, this would be all you need. But since we need uh, a cores enabled, you can then pass in your cores configuration here. And we're just basically setting a wildcard for the origin. And we're setting credentials true, which I don't even know what that means. I just saw that in the docs and it okay. worked for me. So like, I don't I don't know. Um, I'm sure there's like some reason why why that why that's there. Um, so I don't really know, but I know that this 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 is the setup. Yeah, for yeah. Cores. I um I think cores is like one of those things. You either know it really well because you've hit a bunch of issues with it and have hated you know learning it, or you just like are lucky enough to not have to deal with it. <laughs> Find something that works. Like I I hate dealing yeah, with cores. Yeah. It's such a pain. Um, I love when it's like abstracted away for me. Um, okay, yeah, cool. So this is it, right? Like this is our function. Yeah. This is all we need. I think everything is done. The only thing we need to do now is install uh, Apollo Server Lambda oh, right. because like we've, we've actually used it, but we haven't installed so it yet. So do I, I need, I cd into the functions directory to do this, correct? Yeah, yeah, and we need, we also, I believe, need the, the GraphQL dependency. So we just need those two, Apollo, Server Lambda, and GraphQL, and it needs to be installed into this package.json that's kind of in this SRC directory. Of okay, the that's right. So that's going to be amplify backend function, Yanni fax function, source, right? Yeah. That's Boom. it. Nailed it. Uh, and then uh, npm install and we wanted um apollo server uh lambda and what was the other one graphql uh just yeah, graphql boom. okay yeah cool uh there are a lot of interesting yanni facts flowing into the chat so i think we now have uh enough data <laughs> to work